So uh, if you notice the car is currently in park, once I enable into autonomous mode, then it will shift into drive and we will start driving. So no hands, my feet. Okay. <laughs> yes, that steering wheel is going to mimic uh, the this the MKZ steering wheel, so don't be alarmed when it moves a little. A very important sensor uh, part of this demonstration is the lidar on top that uses infrared light to detect its surroundings and any obstacles. With the LiDAR, we create a map uh, of the area we're driving through. So for this demonstration, Hall B in Kobo. On the map, we put different features that are important, such as the stop sign here that we're gonna stop at. However, the feature we don't have are this electric vehicle that uh, jumps out in front of us. So what happened there is the sensor identified an object in the path and stopped for it, but then proceeded once it was uh, appropriate to do so. And you didn't break? I did not break, nope. nope. The car is completely in control of the gas and brake. What we have here is uh, an unplanned event. So we have a disabled vehicle in our planned route. So instead we're gonna have to do a little bit of a detour. However, the vehicle is not familiar with this section of the map. So to uh, help the AV, we're gonna have a remote driver control the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so for this, you will have control of the steering. I will have brake and throttle. So, yeah, uh, you can look out the window if you prefer, <laughs> or if our HDMI splitter will cooperate. Did the screen just go black? Yeah. So that's actually not a part of the autonomous car. That's a part of the um, visual system here for our, our backseat drivers. Cool. And the teleop system, is that a part of the autonomous vehicles that, you know, in case of unexpected events, how does exactly? Yes. Yeah. So uh, whenever the vehicle encounters a situation it's unfamiliar with, such as a, a part of the road. Okay. Um, one possible way to get around that is to have a remote driver connect to the vehicle by internet, uh, 5G, something similar like that, and take over to guide the vehicle through that section. And this can be someone either in the car or outside of the car? Uh, it, yes, it depends on the implementation. Yeah. It could be both. So she could be in the back seat, she could be at that table over there, she could be in California, Texas, or New York. Oh, cool. Is there a... Now that we're uh, on the yeah. straight part of the road here, we're in an area that the AV is familiar with. So we're going to continue cool. with the autonomous mode. And in theory, the, to access the teleop, you would need... Um, it would be specific to your mobile device that you're accessing it from. So there's like a password and security. Yes, yep. There would be multiple levels of security. Um, and you'd be connected just to your car. So only the, the call center would have access to your vehicle. Okay. So there we had another obstacle in our path that the vehicle identified, slowed down for, and then continued when it was safe to do so. And the speeds of the vehicle, is that preset or is that something it's also sensing? Those That's part of the map. Part of the map. So okay. the speed limits for the different sections of the course are uh, identified in the map. Okay. So kind of like Google Maps knows the speed limits in different areas. Um, so does our car. Cool. This is the second uh, tally up, so if you want to continue oh. there. Just try and keep us between the white lines. Mm -hmm. So in this instance, uh, all vehicles need some sort of maintenance. Autonomous vehicles are no exception. 
and for right now one of our sensors needs to have some diagnostics done. Uh, while some engineers looking at that sensor, a remote driver is taking over the vehicle and controlling it, helping it through so that it doesn't have to stop. Going left? Turn left. Yep. That's one of the good things about uh, advanced vehicles is that you don't have to necessarily stop at a shop um, or even stop at all. You can connect over the air and correct, identify any problems that may arise. So while a remote driver took over just for a little bit from the autonomous driving, an engineer fixed the sensor and now the autonomous vehicle can continue on its way. This is our last lap, so we're gonna go a little bit quicker around it. If you have any video or pictures you'd like to take, go ahead. We do have a Snapchat filter. Oh, very cool. Stop and for the stop sign. And then we have one last obstacle on our path. <laughs> Wave at our electric jam. <laughs> All right, now as we pull into the pit stop, that concludes the demo. Very cool, thank you.